Hey people, Yolande here. Um, got a couple new things to show you. Uh, these are the piloting gel pens. Got these in a couple days ago. Friend asked me to review them. And, uh, just to let you know, I'm going to give you my, uh, candid review, but these people did send me these for review. I don't know if you call that a paid review or whatever, but they sent them to me, uh, and gave me the, they gave me the money to buy them and sent them to me. And now I'm giving you my review um got this pack first these are their vintage color line brand name is piloting oh just terrible trying to find out where the camera is but the brand name is piloting and they are by lens l e n I X I V I. I think that's how you say it. Luxvani, something like that. But you find them on Amazon, and they are about eight dollars for a pack. You get a pack of five, and they're to me they're really cute. They are five millimeter. Um, pens. Let's pull one up. Five millimeter nib. They come in black ink, which is okay. I prefer blue, but they don't offer blue right now. So they come in, you know, black ink and a uh, nice little box. As you know, I love boxes, so the box is nice, I think. Um, then these, oops, if you can see them outside the glare, are the same thing in pastel colors. Oops, trying to show you two in pastel colors. Same thing, black ink, you know, nothing, you know, different. They come with 10 refills, which, let me see, what did I do with the refills? Oh, I remember. They come with a pack of 10 refills, and I've got a video that I'm going to try and attach to the back of this, showing me how they refill. But then this is the refills that come in it. This white one here comes in the pen. And then I put I refilled it with one of these that are in there. But it comes with a pack of 10 refills per case or per set. Which is okay. Um if you write a lot. And you use these pens a lot. It's nice to have refills. You don't have to worry about them. Um, I do write a lot. But I tend to switch up my pens. You know I don't always write in black. I don't always write in blue. I write in whatever color takes my fancy that day. So um, me personally I don't need the refills. But if you like them and you really want to keep them going, it's nice that they give you a lot of refills. So that's pretty decent. Um, let me see. Let's get you some information here. If I can remember. Yeah, that, that name uh, that the company is, is L-A-N-X-I-V-I. I added a couple other letters in there. Um... I don't know how you pronounce that. Lanzivi. I don't know. Um, 
Um, like I said, I love the box. They are refillable. The nib is 0 0.05 millimeters. They're retractable, which I didn't show you, I don't think. But yeah, they're retractable. Um they are eight dollars and sixty-three cents with tax. Let me just pull pull these out and then I can kind of show you what I mean. Okay. They're they're coated with this kind of rubbery substance. It's got a name, I just can't think of what it is. Um but it it makes it kind of it's kind of a rubbery feel and it makes it really comfortable to write with. I you know kind of love these. Um, they're just really neat looking pens. I just really can't get enough of them. Um, they, and like I said, they're refillable. Like I said, I'm going to try and attach that, um, pen that, uh, ooh. Come on, open. Okay, I'm going to try and attach that, uh, uh, other, you know, writing sample type thing at the end, but that's the inside of the pen. It's got the little spring to put it on it, and you put that on, and you put this in, and then you screw the cap back on, and then you're supposed to be able to, yeah, do that, and uh. Yeah, I think that these are neat little pens. They're really pretty. And uh, they write really well, which is like I said, I'm going to show you the writing sample at the end. And uh, I like that they're gel, um, gel pens. Um... I wish they did. Like I said, I wish they uh, came with blue ink and or color, you know, color inks that would match the colors of the, um, the outside of the pen. Um, like I said, I, I write or use pens as the fancy takes me. So to have a bunch of pens that only have black ink uh, to me is boring <laughs> so um, but they asked me to review these so I got that's why I got them um, if you like this video like subscribe um, leave comments you know if anybody else has used these pens I welcome your insight into how these worked out for you and uh, I will see you guys in the next video look out for the um, the add-on to the to the back of this and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye okay here we go uh, these are the muted colors for the Pilotin pens. And I'm going to try and get one out. And so I can show you. And that's it. Okay, and that's the nib. And this is how it writes. Okay, and then these are the um, pastel colors. And I'm to show you what those are like. Just nice and 
I'm not going to, didn't take them out at this time, because uh didn't want to mess them up right then and there. And these are the refills. And you get 10 in a pack on top of the ones that are already in the pen. So that's a total of 15 inks, which is very generous, I think. So that's what the ink cartridge looks like. And you pull the cap off. And you know, you unscrew the cap off the pen or the back off the pen. Um the brand name on on the ink cartridges is something else. Zen Zenith. And okay, and then you get the spring for that and put it in there. Now this one I don't think worked. And which is something I wanted to show you too. The first one I tried didn't work properly. Yeah. See, it, it's it's not working properly. So I had to check it and make sure that it wasn't you know something I did but uh, you know like I tried it a couple times to see if I could get it to work right and it still didn't work right one thing that uh, I had said that it would be nice, you know, along with them providing different colors for the ink cartridges, is that spring. Um, whenever I have had to refill a pen before, it usually acts like this first one did, you know. I put it in and it doesn't go in right and it either doesn't retract anymore or it doesn't come out at all. And those springs tend to get lost when you're doing it. So, you know, like, yeah, I put the original back in and it was no problem. So I'm thinking that it had to have been the cartridge that was a problem. Because as soon as I get another one and try it again... Ding, 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 ding. It worked. I know that was a long pause in between things, but uh, I'm trying to follow this along and do a voiceover. And it writes like it took a little, you know, try at the skip. And of course, I couldn't, you know, remember what the alphabet was. But um, I think it works. They work pretty good.